Hey everyone, uh, welcome back to what I fix daily. I have a uh, old Vista machine here and it's got a locked out user account when you try to boot into Vista. It's the only account that's on the machine unfortunately. So in order to counteract that, uh, it's a moderately common problem. What we do is we go into the registry of Windows and <clears throat> uh, remove the broken user account. Usually it's got a back or uh, something extension. So first thing I have to do is I actually have to activate the administrator account and I've got to do that through Linux. So I've booted to my usual recovery thing and it's become root. Let's see, I'm pretty sure it should be um, And it'll be SDA, F disk, what's this? Am I getting that? Am I getting that? Just. There you go. Just give it a little bit more out. There we go. And we can see our Windows partition is SDA3. My keyboard's playing up. So we mount the Windows partition, we then go into it, and we want to get to system32 config, and we have a SAM file here, which is the user accounts, and we have chnt password, SAM, and we need to unlock the administrator account, save it, exit, and we re Oops. Okay. Unmount the drive and reboot. Alright, uh, we can see we now have our administrator account, so we log in. first time you do this it will take a little while because it has to create all the folders and default files. Alright, we've got our account. First thing we're going to do is run regedit. And from there we can go see if we do have the classical sort of corrupted user profiles. And to get to that we have to go to local machine software Microsoft Windows two different steps there Microsoft oh come on Windows I think it's Windows NT and current version let's expand this out Windows NT current version yep and in here we should have profile lists. Here we go. Uh, let's have a look. One of these will probably dot back or something. There we go. Okay, so we've got a dot back one. That's the old one prior to whatever update occurred. And the one without the dot back is the new one that's corrupted. So we rename this one to just something like dot ba. And then we rename this one to have no extension. So now that should be reusing the old original profile that wasn't broken. Oh dear god, here comes half the fun when you uh, start up a administrator account after a while. Yeah, 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 no thanks. Go away. Now the other thing I wanted to fix was the... Um, oh my god, get out of here. The MSAHCI in other yeah, to enable the ATA support. Uh, really? So I've been hounded by a million advertisers. Find AHCI. I don't know why I never remember where this MSAHCI is. Nope. 
that's not it. That's it. Down here. Where'd it go? There we go. And the start is set at four. We need that to be zero. Okay. All right, so we've done the two things we need. Let's restart. And I'll also see if I'll have to set the BIOS to now activate the SART of performance mode. And hopefully it won't take as long to reboot this time. Come on already! Today! This is a old Core 2 Duo machine, so it's really had a good life. It's full of dust right now, but that's nothing unusual. This is in a workshop, this machine. Okay, let's see if this works. Ah, thank you, cat blocks are on. Alright, that was looking good. See, so, all fixed. Didn't have to do anything dramatic. Just had to get rid of those broken registry entries. And it's all good again. Alright, we're all done. Everything came up properly. Uh, the user account is now working again. I don't know exactly what causes this fault. It could be like a power glitch or something like that. Uh, it does happen moderately frequently. I get maybe one every month or two. Instead of trying to copy data over or anything like that, just try the registry trick first. If you see there, there's duplicate profile entries, one with a back and one without then just swap them around like that and hopefully it should all come up good again for you. Alright, well, thanks for watching and um, I'll see you guys next time and don't forget, if you're wondering about any equipment I use or software or tricks like that, check in the description. I've usually got most of the things there so you don't really, um, instead of having to ask me each time, you can check there. If there's something that's still not there that you're wondering about, sure enough, drop me a message on the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Until next time, I'll see you later.